I am writing this book for PME Art's 20th anniversary and literally cannot believe we have been doing it this long. I often say I don't necessarily relate to people who make art, performance, or literature, but I do relate to people who make art, performance, and literature who think of quitting every 15 seconds. Those are really my people. I call us the boy who cried wolf set, since we always announce we're quitting but never do, and therefore no one believes us anymore. Uh, the title of the book in English is Authenticity is a Feeling, and this really summarizes my philosophy about authenticity. There's no real thing we can call authenticity. Uh, something is authentic if you feel it's authentic. So if uh, me and a friend go see a performance and I feel it's authentic and they don't, then it's authentic for me and not for them. But what's really important about this is what you feel is authentic can tell us so much about what you believe about the world and what you believe in life, what you believe about politics. In a way, your whole worldview can be summed up uh, in what you find authentic. And then also when you start to question this, you can also start to change uh, what you think about the world. In the book, I say that uh, all my favorite artists are a mix of completely stubborn and completely open. And in a way, I think that's really what you have to do. You have to be stubborn enough to continue and to uh, go, uh, you know, to overcome all the many, many obstacles you're going to encounter. Uh, but you can't be so stubborn that you stop being open. You have to be open to criticism. You have to learn from your critics. You have to be open to change. You can't just get stuck doing one thing. Uh, you have to change as much as possible all the time. But at the same time, stay true, stubbornly, stubbornly true to a certain vision.